Hello Desert Bearhawk fans, we're back in the shop. It's been a while since I've made a video. So I've been busy primering, primering my aluminum parts as you can see. Here's a nose rib that's nice chromate green, although it isn't chromate. This is uh, Stewart Systems Echo Prime in chromate color. I felt the uh, chromate was a traditional aviation color, so I went with that. I could have chose gray or white, but I like chromate color so anyways today's video is about this tool right here that I made I um, mean if you've seen my previous videos you know I'm all about repeatability and um, today we have some functions to do or <clears throat> at least this step is some functions that require these stiffener brackets right here to be riveted to the multiple nose ribs I have and yet the idea is is to put them on the nose rib on each nose rib in the same identical place as all the other nose ribs so I needed a tool to do that and this tool helps me do two things um, those that are building a bear hawk know that these these um, ribs have a tendency to to uh, taco or potato chip kind of get a convex curve in them um, when you when you flange the lightning holes because of the the metal being stretched and shrunk so there's ways you can stretch the three and nine o'clock position on the holes to get them lay flat and I, and I have a video about that you can find it uh, on my page there but um, can't get quite all of it out you can get them pretty close but you still have a little bit of a concave in them so what I want to do is when I was drilling these stringers or these stiffeners to put them on I wanted to make sure that this rib was laying perfectly flat so I made this fixture and uh, you'll remember a few videos back I talked about these toggle clamps that we have right here these guys well that this is what they've been intended for all along so using the tooling holes here and here I put two pins in the board here and here to line everything up and be indexed so each rib all the tooling holes are in the same spot so when I put this on there uh, this rib will always every rib will line up in the same place so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and put it on these these tooling pins and just slide it down and still you can see it rocks a little bit and there's a little bit of a bow in the center here so with these toggle clamps all I have to do is just take a toggle clamp push it down tight take this one push it down tight and now this rib it's flat perfectly flat to the table the next thing we need to do is we need to line up and I don't know if you can see it. Let's bring them up close. Yeah, you can see there's the four holes that I drilled, and I had a video on how I index these holes to drill them. So now I have to take these stiffener brackets, and we have to put them in in position like so, and then rivet them in place. First thing you have to do before you can rivet them is to drill some holes. Well, what I wanted to make sure was is that this stiffener bracket on this rib is in the same place that it is on this rib and all the other ribs I do. I want uniform, I want it to be uniform. Everything to be the same as everything else. So instead of breaking out the lasers and the transits and all the stuff I normally break out when I'm trying to make sure something's straight, I just built a simple little fixture here out of a couple pieces of scrap plywood and then believe it or not a couple of pieces of uh, quarter by half balsa wood I made this little fixture out of and all I do is take this and slide it in the the holder there, slide it down tight so the edge, you know, it's sitting on top of the flanges. And now that sets my line. I take my stiffener, I slide it in. I make sure my distance, and I'm doing that by eyeball, so you know, in that sense, we'll be a little bit off here or there, but probably not much. Just kind of line it up at the edge, make sure the top and the bottom have got the same edge distance. Then I just take my drill, hold it with my finger, stick the old drill in there. Shoot me a hole. And of course the compressor would start running right in the middle of this, so I would go take care of that. And that is that. Alright, we drilled our hole. Grab a Coleco. Coleco. And I don't know, if, if you don't know what this is, they're a temporary fastener. I'm going to hold it up close to the camera here. You can see that end right there when I squeeze. See how the end comes forward? What it does is it goes through the piece, 
narrowly and then when the when the center tongue when the center tongue right here pulls back it expands it out and holds everything tight so I'll take the Coleco stick it in the hole now that holes indexed so now I'll just make sure I don't have any bind and everything and I will shoot the rivet on the other hole over here and uh, I think I know why my compressor kicked off I got an air leak over there it sounds like so there'll be no videos on how to fix air leaks you're on your own on that deal stick the other Coleco right in get this out of the way now we don't need it anymore stick her right in there and now we're indexed up I can shoot the other two holes And uh, certainly overkill for the project, but we'll do it anyway. A couple Coleco's in here, and like so. Unlock our locks. Slide our piece out. And all I have to do is deburr these holes real quick, and I'm ready to rivet. So that's my little indexing tool to uh, index my ribs for the nose ribs for the stiffeners and uh, same same rule will apply for the center ribs I'll just have to modify the tool obviously and I have to this this uh, fixture is only good for right hand ribs so once I complete all my rights then I will flip the fixture around put the the pin down here and vice versa get it all squared away for left hand ribs so I'll do all the right hand ribs first and there you have it Hopefully that gives you some ideas on how you can do, do the same process. And if, it, uh, if you're not building an airplane and you just want to see how I'm doing it, this is how I'm doing it. Appreciate you watching. Uh, please leave feedback at the bottom. The bottom. And uh, we'll see you next time from the shop.